So you might have seen this before. You have a macro and then for some reason the macro is wrapped in a do while zero uh, which is kind of weird but uh, let's uh, let's actually use it right so if we have x and y and we want to use the macro zero which will just assign zero to both of them kind of a useless macro but whatever right um, and if we do this uh, before they were nine, right? Well, it will they will become zero, right? Because we have used the zero macro. And uh, well, if we remove the do while, it's not gonna do anything. It's still gonna zero both of them. Uh, so what's the point of the do while? Well, it will not uh, change anything if we just do that. But if we do something like if we have an if here and then we do uh, the macro uh, if we remove the do while well in this case they're they'll both get zeroed right because these statements will still be executed the macro will be s executed right but if we have if zero here so in the case where the if statement is uh, false well we don't want them executed in that case right we don't want uh, them to be zeroed but if we compile it we can see that y is zero even though we have uh, put them inside this if and uh, why is that well if we expand the macros we can see that the x is in the if but the y is outside the if and the reason is well if we have an if without braces it will just take the first statement as the uh, if body so the point of the do while is just to wrap them in a brace so such that you know things like this would never occur and uh, well why do while zero why not just you know why not just do this right just wrap them in braces so if we have something like that if we do if uh, something and then else something right well we get an error here uh, wh why are we getting an error well if we expand it again so when using the macro you know naturally we end it with a semicolon just like uh, you know any statement right but since we have the brace here you know if we have a brace here we don't you know end it with semicolon and so if we look at the uh, expanded thing we can see that uh, you know there's an added brace here which isn't supposed to be there so we have the brace here which is one statement and then we have a semicolon which is another statement whereas if only accepts one statement and so if we have uh, the semicolon or the macro with that uh, do while with only braces we end up having two statements and so if we have an else here it doesn't doesn't actually work because well if only takes one statement but we have two and then after that we have an else which doesn't make any sense so yeah the reason for the dual is just that we can actually use a semicolon without it being two statements without the semicolon being interpreted as you know its own statement because a dual actually takes a semicolon at the end right and uh, yeah